You could call virtual reality gaming an escape, but for one Billings veteran, it's a lifestyle. Not only has it given him something to live for after years of depression, but he's also made a name for himself within the gaming community. I feel as young as I do in that picture today. Nuclear war technician, helicopter crew chief. That was a long time ago. Combat medic. I couldn't stop moving, I was always on the go. These are just a few of the titles Billings vet Darwin Oak accumulated in his 30 year stint in the army. I've been in, uh, deployed, I don't know how many times, five, seven, something like that, to all over the world. Uh, a lot of places that, you know, backside of countries that you didn't know about. Those experiences can take a toll on even the strongest of people. I got a plate in my neck from getting shot at and uh, I was getting depressed. I was on a lot of medications for pain and for uh, mental health. That changed four years ago when Darwin's son introduced him to the world of virtual reality. Very glitchy. This is my therapy. It's helped me because I'm here. You know, and I feel great. Darwin immersed himself in the virtual reality game of Firewall and hasn't needed medication ever since. The cafeteria? I think that's what it does. I think it just distracts you or it desensitizes you. The idea of being able to escape a little bit and to get into, uh, as it were, a different, a different world for a little bit creates such engagement from patients. Occupational therapist Max Holden with the Rehab Hospital of Montana has seen the positive effects firsthand. I found that virtual reality, when we set them up appropriately for it, gives them that sense of comfort, gives them that sense where the risk is low. Uh, but the fun is high. And Darwin has put his name on the map. Is it up top? It is, isn't it? He's ranked 18th worldwide in Firewall's leaderboard, playing 10 to 12 hours a day. It'll take about another year to get to number 10 on the leaderboard. But doing something he loves means it's time well spent. I've got a plan now for the rest of my life. I gotta live to be 145 to get what I want done. <laughs> In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.